Hey folks, so today I wanted to cover my personal everyday carry first aid kit. It's kind of my modified version of an iPhone. But this is it right here, right? So it's pretty massive. It's pretty bulky as you can see. And I can't even fit everything in it that I want. Um, so it's pretty, pretty good size. I actually keep a cold pack um, and this Sam Splint uh, in my backpack. And it's pretty, pretty bulky and it kind of rattles around in there. I'm not crazy about it. So I thought I'd upgrade it. And so I went out and got a Rothko Tactical Breakaway Pouch. So this guy is, uh, is Molly compatible um, and it looks to be a little bit more user friendly. So I'm going to open it up here and show you what it looks like. Take this cardboard off. So this is the basic pouch, right? And it kind of lays flat, right? So you can see all three components. Um, and of course it's in a slightly better color than red. It, uh, it's OD green, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more tactical. Uh, but the whole point of this bag is that you can rip it off this big Velcro panel and grab it if you need it. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to load up um, all my everyday carry medical gear in here and show you what it looks like. Okay, so we are back and I have it fully loaded. So it is a little bit thicker than my other kit, but it is supremely organized and it holds everything in one pouch. One pouch that I can quickly deploy out of my backpack and use. I, I love it. It's very convenient. And the best part about the Rothko you know, brand name is that these are not very expensive. Yes, they're not made in the States, but this is a bag that gets good reviews out there on the internet but also it is not one of those bags that I think you're going to use day in and day out so it should be okay um, one thing I wanted to note before we show you how uh, I packed out my bag is that this guy right here is the back panel right and it has this strap on it and it has the Molly attachment but it also contains these D-rings. So if you wanted to, you could put this on the pouch and you could carry it around. You could put paracord or some type of luggage strap or a sling of some kind, and you could carry it around as, as an independent, um, you know, filled medic kit. So that's a kind of a nice option. Um, but for me, since I'm gonna put this in a backpack, down in a backpack and pull it out when needed, it's my everyday carry, and I don't really want to advertise that I have a trauma kit with me. So this is going to go in storage because I just don't really need to attach it with Molly, and I don't really need the quick rip away feature. So that's going to go in storage in case I change my mind or find a better use for it. But as you can see, it's very slick, right? Um, it's very organized. You... Uh, all I really need right now is to put, you know, my blood type or, you know, a first aid cross of some kind on this Velcro field here. Um, I chose to put my trauma shears on the outside because they're really bulky, but they do fit on the inside. They just take up space. I put my CPR mask and a spare pair of gloves on the outside. It's very convenient, um, and it's right there, and I attached it to my zipper. So... The best part about this is it lays flat. Hell, you can even hang it if you wanted to. You could hang it up on a tree limb, um, on your car mirror. You could, you could hang it up however you wanted. So the best use that I found for the zippered mesh bag is that this is um, where I keep all my miscellaneous boo-boo stuff, right? So the best part about all this is this is a great place for all those band-aids and little tiny you know gauze pads and all that stuff because it lays flat it's great it's also great to put moleskin in there for blisters um, it's great to put in little tiny you know advil and of course you gotta have your baby aspirin because this is what you give when someone has a heart attack uh, another really nifty thing to do is if you individually bag your 
ointments and medicines, then when you open up this, this say this burn relief gel, right? It's just in a little disposable package. But if you have it in a Ziploc bag, you can use it and then you can put it in here and save it and seal it up for other applications. So you can get a couple of uses out of it. And the same goes for, you know, the little first aid creams or, oh, what's this? Iodine, you know, stuff like that. Um, I also went ahead and put all of um, my, uh, you know, uh, benzidine and iodine and alcohol pads all in here so that I could get to them easily. But you don't have to. You could easily just let them free float inside this compartment. But that's kind of my boo-boo kit and it works really, really well. This middle section or the main section is really my heavy bleeding. Um, so, of course, I've got my cat tourniquet. Um, you should always have these out of the packaging and you should always have them ready to go. Uh, really, to be quite honest with you, you have to be very careful about where you buy your tourniquets. Don't buy cheap. Don't buy offline unless you trust the people you're getting it from. I, I would not buy it from eBay or Amazon. I truly would go to, you know, CAT or I would go to a true medical supply house. So you got to be careful with these, but they're truly uh, one-of-a-kind items. Yeah, can you make it out of a belt and a stick? Absolutely you can, but this guy is purpose-built for the task, and it's always good to have at least one. So then we have gauze, which this is just cheap, cheap, cheap rolls of gauze that I then put in little tiny Ziploc baggies and took out as much air as I possibly could. These are perfect for wound packing. Uh, I have two of those. Another feature about this kit that I really like is you can tether to those little tiny um, uh, paracord points that are in this corner of each uh, of the main compartments here. There's two here and there's two up here. Um, you can put your roll of tape on there. So when you need some tape, you just roll it off, right? It's perfect. Um, and it's very handy. Plus, if you are hanging this bag up, it won't fall out. So that's really, really cool. Uh, next, I always keep an Israeli bandage. Um, these guys are great. I absolutely love them. Um, this patch is uh, specifically built for uh, this, so it, it seems like it is anyway. Um, it's great. I absolutely love it. Always have some clotting agent of some kind. Uh, I prefer the the uh, the gauze impregnated um, quick clot instead of these sponges, but this would work in a pinch. Um, Steri strips are fantastic. You always have to have those. Um, and then I just have an assortment of large bandages and pads. Uh, they work great. Um, they fit perfectly in this little tiny uh, area right here. Um, and so you just have everything organized and it's really nice. And I can't stress enough how awesome it is that you can lay everything flat because then you can see what you have to work with and you can grab it. Particularly if you're trying to apply pressure to a patient and trying to grab something out of your kit, you can do that one handed. Uh, so then this last section I've kind of used as my, eh, you, my tool section, if you will. So obviously um, you can have the little tiny you know, disposable thermometer, some Q-tips are always nice, tongue depressor is always good. Um, getting out splinters are, are uh, a big deal. Uh, I always carry a little saline eye wash, right, because you never know when you're going to have an eye injury. Spare gloves um, are really, really awesome and you should carry them all the time. Oh. Always got to have a Sharpie so that you can write either on their arm or their forehead or whatever, you can write the time that you applied that tourniquet. Um, it's really important to communicate. Um, I was able to get my uh, medium sized um, cold pack in here. So this kit is not going to contain everything in the world, but I do a lot of 4 H shooting sports and a lot of Boy Scout stuff, and you just never know what's going to happen. And frankly, um, when you're dealing with knives and guns and fires, people get burnt, they get stabbed, you know, and God forbid if you have an accident with a firearm, you have to have a way to control it. And the best part about this kit is it can contain everything to deal with that major trauma. I'm even able to get a saline syringe in there so that I could do a debreeding or a deep cleanse of a, of a puncture wound of some type. 
and I was even able to get my Sammy split in there. So these, you know, thin pieces of aluminum covered in in uh, in foam are fantastic. They're great. You can use them for all kinds of things, um, whether it's a serious sprain, a break, whatever. These are really great. Never leave home without them. Um, and then lastly, I just keep a roll of bandage that you know self-adheres to itself um, that goes by several several names out there this happens to be Coban which is the 3M product but these are fantastic I absolutely love them this kit is well worth the money um, there are more expensive bags out there that you can buy um, this one is going to be well under twenty dollars and I highly recommend it okay let's finish up like we always do with pros and cons and so the first pro for me always 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 is cost and this is sub twenty dollars most places uh, so that means that you would be able to buy one for your other car your boat your cabin your wife's bag your kids bags whatever so it is really affordable now yes it's not made in the states and I do consider that a con um, but the quality seems to be very solid um, I dig the Rothko stuff it just seems to work um, I really wish it was made in the States employing Americans but they're not um, so the cost the fact that it lays out flat um, that's probably the second big pro for me um, and, and it comes in a range of colors which is also very nice because then you could if you really wanted to you could do you know a trauma kit a boo-boo kit whatever um, so that's really really awesome and nice and handy um, and like I said the only real con I have is that it's not made in the States um, but it is huge um, you can pack all kinds of stuff into this trauma bag you could make a huge boo-boo kit I, you, the possibilities are endless um, so you could use it even for something other than um, a first aid kit, right? You could use it for a fire making kit. You could use it for a food kit. You could use it for, I don't know, maybe some type of travel bag, right? That could be a ditty bag, right? Could hold your your uh, your toiletries. So it's really, really handy. Um, and again, for the cost, I really cannot complain. I really love it. I think it's a big upgrade for me. So it's a big, uh, it's a big win. So, as always, if you like these type of videos, please do me a huge favor. Like, share, comment, and if you haven't, please subscribe. Thanks so much. Talk to you later.